Although the high, highly anticipated annual Labor Day parade did not take place this year, some labor leaders assembled today to honor the memories of a group of women considered to be gone too soon after they were plowed down by an out-of-control vehicle two years ago. Cleopatra Murphy attended the memorial. Two years after the lives of Kathleen Fernander, Diane Elizabeth Ferguson, Tabitha Charlene Hay, and Tammy Patrice Gibson were cut short during the 2018 Sarandon Fox Labor Day Parade. The women who were members of the Bahamas Financial Services Union were honored as union officials gathered at Zion Baptist Church to lay wreaths at the site where a memorial has been erected. The short ceremony was led by Bahamas Financial Services Union President Teresa Mortimer, who says the annual Labor Day celebrations will forever be changed because of the tragedy, but the legacy of the fallen four will live on. Their lives were a blessing. Their memories are our treasure. They are loved beyond words, and they are missed beyond measure. As we pause to remember our four fallen sisters, we say happy Labor Day to you. We know that this is a day that we celebrate alone because of the COVID-19, but we want you to march within your hearts. March on to freedom, march on to employment, march on to all that is good and just in our Bahama land. The ceremony serves as a time of reflection for union officials and the family members of Diane Elizabeth Ferguson, who gathered to mourn her passing and celebrate her life and the lives of the others that were cut short. Her daughter, Tiffany Moss, says her life has forever been changed by the tragedy. I was actually there, so I would have witnessed the entire ordeal. Um, it was hard. It was challenging. Um, this is a route that I do not take. So it was really hard coming this way today, but it, it, it's still feel unreal. It's still unreal. Acknowledging that her mother's passing has been hard on her family, Moss says she wants her mother's memory to be about more than the unfortunate incident that claimed her life. In spite of it all, despite what she would have gone through or what she may have been going through, she still managed to smile and help others. And her song, like she always had a song in her heart. So I would want them to remember her strength. Offering a few words on the cousin and close friend that she loved, Janet Fowler says life has been difficult without her. Her sisters, her cousins, we still mourn. The wound is still wide open. But God, with God helps, we press on. So we thank you for remembering her and of our gratitude. Past president of the Union of Tertiary Educators of the Bahamas, Senator Jennifer Isaac Dotson, says it was important to participate in the memorial for the four women who died in the Labor Day parade two years ago, and says it is time to put more emphasis on those who have forged the way for the labor movement. Just as it's important to remember the persons who died during the Burma Road riot, I think as a labor movement we need to look at that, memorializing persons who have caused us to be where we are today. And we've done that with Sarandal, but it's time to look at other persons like the Burma Road riot and the, the fit, the strike and those things where persons would have sacrificed so much for us to enjoy the things that we do today. And so I think as a, the labor movement needs to look back and to make a decision in honoring and memorializing those persons who were the foundation for where we are today. President of the National Congress of Trade Unions, Bahamas Women's Association, Sharon Martin, says the union stands with the BFSU and the families of the deceased women as the second anniversary of the 2018 tragedy is comparable only to the Burma Road riot of 1942 when the lives of five men were lost. We've walked through with them every step of the way and we can tell you the pain and the agony that has happened that this has caused them. This is, this is not a show, this is not... When we lay our wreaths, we lay our hearts mm -hmm. at their feet. Yeah. Because what these families have gone through and the unions, unions, we're family. Solidarity means a lot to us. While the revelry and camaraderie of the annual Sarandal Fox Labor Day Parade has been lost with the parade canceled due to COVID-19, Mortimer says her union is thankful for the support. We are grateful for that support. That support has brought us thus far and we intend for it to take us further. But we are grateful. We want to thank you on behalf of the family members, on behalf of those persons that are still scarred, that still remember this day. We say a special thanks for remembering us. Yes.
and to the TUC family, even in their absence, we say thank you. Cleopatra Murphy, Sad NS, Network News.